Hi guys, back here. Today I want to announce an important news. Themes Generator is compatible with WooCommerce. You asked for it and we did it. During these past months we've received lots of comments from you guys asking about WooCommerce. When is Themes Generator going to be compatible with WooCommerce? So yeah, today I'm happy to announce that Themes Generator is compatible with WooCommerce. You can design your theme in Themes Generator, your own theme, and uh, you can install it into WordPress and now you can build your online shop. So in this video I'm going to show you how this works. I'm also going to show how to set up WooCommerce and also how to um, upload and publish products. So if you guys are ready, let's go. All right, so I'm already logged into Themes Generator. I'm going to use a template. I'm going to export it into WordPress. And what you guys should do is the same. You can use one of our templates. You can build your own uh, theme using our pre-built blocks or you can start your own theme from scratch. I'm just going to use one of our themes. So I'm going to load one, open here, load theme. And here you can find some of our free and premium templates. I'm going to use this one, which is called Winter. So I'm using Winter. And you should edit this, make this your own theme. And once you're done, because I'm not going to make any changes here right now, because I just want to show you the compatibility and how to get WooCommerce now, now that it's compatible. Anyways, when you guys are happy with your design, you just have to export it to WordPress. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, as I said, I'm not going to make any changes. So just click here in export to WordPress whenever you're done and click this button, export WordPress template. We have our zip file here. You can see this bar it means it's downloading. So what we're going to do is we're going to our backend, our WordPress backend, and we're going to install this theme there. I'm already logged into WordPress. And as a reminder, to install your theme, you should go to Appearance, Themes, and Add New. Okay, so Add New, Upload Theme. Um, mine is prepared here, so I've already uploaded from my computer and click on install. So this is installing right now and remember you have to activate it. And to make sure, I'm going to open this in a new tab to make sure everything is okay, then just visit the site. Okay, this is, I've opened it in a new tab and everything is looking okay. Now what you need to build your online shop is to install the plugin. You need to install WooCommerce. WooCommerce is also a free plugin. So go to plugins and go to add new. Here's where you're going to search for the plugin. So go to the bar and type WooCommerce. It's this one over here. Click on install now and also remember to activate this plugin if it doesn't automatically activate. I'm going to click activate here. You know you have successfully activated WooCommerce when you get a WooCommerce tab here in your menu. So far, what we have done is we got a theme from Theme Generator. We exported it into WordPress and we've installed it. We've also installed WooCommerce plugin. Basically, we have what we need. I'll show you how to set up WooCommerce later. Um, I'm also going to upload a product. So if you guys don't know how to or you've never used WooCommerce, then I'll show you how to do it just with a product. But what Themes Generator offers you is styling options, shop options to style the buttons, to style the shopping cart. And also, I was going to show you now how it will look. Okay, so let's visit the site again. I'm going to refresh it. And you'll also know that, um, that you have successfully installed WooCommerce if this cart appears. You see, I've just refreshed the site, the home page, and the cart shows. And now I'm going to show you these shop styles. Okay, so let's go here to customize. And we have shop styles. Okay, I'm going to open these shop styles. And here we have some styling options. 
and also here style layout um i'll show you this part whenever we uh create a product okay and because this is more for the internal pages set the the width the maximum width of the content but i think you will visually understand it later not if i explain it now first thing okay again let's go back to the shop styles and here i'm going to change for example the card color okay because right now what it does it just inherited the um, the styles from your theme so let's say i'm going to change a little bit the color so right now it's in a bright purple and I change it to red. Just move around a little bit and just here you can choose the color. I'm going to leave it in a similar purple. Also the car count background. And I'm going to let's change a little bit the colors because right now we don't have any product added but it will show like a number well actually the car count text is this one over here so it's white it'll be appear over um a yellow background also price color button text button backgrounds text hover and this i'm gonna play with these options after i create a product because you will see all the buttons and the text and all that um but here in shop styles in the home page what you can do is change the card color okay and that's what's going to be visible right now before you have any product okay so now i'm going to show you how to set up your online shop before i continue i want to explain something if it's the first time that you're installing woocommerce in your domain the very very first time not that you've installed and deleted i mean it's the first time um, then automatically a setup wizard will appear and you just need to follow these steps in this case in this domain i've installed uh, woocommerce already so what i've done is i've deleted it and then i've reinstalled this so that means that um I, the wizard the setup wizard won't appear so i'm going to force this wizard to appear if you guys um i don't know um have made some mistakes before and want to follow this and also want to like force this setup wizard to appear again then this is what you should do okay so if it's the first time you've installed it guys if this wizard will automatically appear and you'll follow it okay i'm just forcing this to appear again just to let you know if you want it to 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 show just go here in woocommerce and click on this help button and here you get the setup wizard okay it's that simple so I'm just going to click on it and click setup wizard. So this is what you guys will see whenever you've installed it the first time or you're forcing this setup again. Okay. And here is where um, you have to start typing all the details. So for example, where's your store, your store base. So let's say here in South Africa, just click uh, type an address and let's say for example address let's say 20 and South Africa um, sorry Pretoria and the zip code it's just a random one so yeah I'm just gonna leave that um what currency do you accept in payments okay so this is the the currency i'm just gonna set i'm just gonna make it dollars us dollars as if you sell internationally it's the common currency and what type of products do you want to sell uh, here is when you have to set up if you want um physical or digital okay or even both so let's leave something and physical and digital okay and if you will also be selling products or services in person just click that like so click on let's go sorry i have to click on a state so as i don't know which state is pretoria i'm just going to randomly click on one um please south african friends don't hate me <laughs> so let's go okay 
here's where you set up the payment. So you have options like, for example, PayPal or PayFast. Um, I have PayPal selected and here's where you have to add your email, the email you use for your PayPal account. Okay, so this one is selected. This is how you select or deselect. And you have also some offline payments. I'm going to open this tab so you guys see. You have check, bank transfers, or cash on delivery. I've selected bank transfers because it's also another uh, common way to buy, to pay online. Um, so these are the options that will appear in your products, okay? Click on continue. So if you select physical products, then you have the shipping options and right now you have the shipping options for South Africa and also for the rest of the world so here's where you have to 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 select free shipping or a flat rate and kilograms centimeters the for the product dimensions right so this is only if you have selected the physical products if you are only selling digital products then you won't have the shipping options so click on continue whenever you've set this up in this next step, WooCommerce recommends some features. It's storefront theme, it's their own theme, and also MailChimp. Um, my recommendation is that as you have designed your own theme with Themes Generator, then you should deselect this. Otherwise, storefront theme will be installed. So leave MailChimp, which is pretty good for newsletters, so I would leave that, but remember to unclick deselect storefront theme okay done and click on continue our online shop is ready our online shop is finally ready so what it needs is products so that's what we're going to do we're going to create products and let's go here click on this button create a product so that button directly took us here to our products tab so now we get also like a assistant i'm going to dismiss this it tells you the basic steps to upload your product. So let's get ours done. Let's add the product name first thing. So I'm just going to make this up and call it winter app as I'm using winter themes. So I'm just going to call it winter app. Here you can add a product description. You can switch from text to visual, whatever you prefer. I'll leave it here in visual. So I've copied some some Latin, some lorem ipsum, and I'm going to paste it here. You should format this, okay? I'm just not going to format it this much, but i um, just going to add some bold so you guys see that this is what we've edited, okay? That's the only thing why I'm doing this. So add your description here. Keep on scrolling down, and here's where you um add some specifications so for example if it's a simple product and here you have a group product um if uh, uh, you want a variable product too if it's virtual and downloadable then you should click this if i click this see how shipping disappeared okay so if it's something physical then you should uh, type the weights and the dimensions and all that but i'm just going back to leave it virtual so uh, other important thing is the price so let's click on let's say 250 if it's downloadable if you're selling anything virtual then you attach it here all right so i'm just going to deselect it again um, another important thing is the product image so i've already prepared a product image so come here and click on set product image and this is the one that i'm going to use okay so we have the product image and then here in the short description, I would type something too. Um, whenever I preview this, you understand why. This is a short description for Winter App. Thank you guys. Okay. So these are the basic steps that you need to follow to upload your own product and whenever you're done you should publish it okay you can also have the preview options before publishing it and let's click on preview so you guys see we have this image which was a bit big we have the price we also have this sort description here and the add to cart button so um, as many items as you want you can click to add to cart 
remember before we played around a little bit with the shop styles and I did change the color of the number count. So this is what will appear. That's what I mean. Scroll down. Here's where you get the description and down now down here you have the comments and all that. Okay, so um, I'm going back to customize because now that we already have a product we can actually do more styling or at least understand it a little bit a little bit more than before so I'm going back to shop styles remember go to customize and shop styles what we did before we changed the card color and also the car card count what we did before was change the card color and also the card count remember is this one over here so if you increase and click on and now we can do more things so for example the price color right now is green so let's change it to this darker color for example we can also get the button text, this one over here, and the button's background. So I'm going to leave the text as white, but change the background color to this one over here. And also the hover color. See how it changes. And also remember here, you saw I didn't mention this before, but you can check. And also I didn't mention this before, but here you you select if you want to show the cart and the cart counter. Okay, it's optional, completely optional. So guys, whenever you're done with this, you click on publish. So this is how you style your own online shop. I'm gonna go back now to site layout and explain this. So here's where you set the minimum height and also a maximum width right now it's set to 1400 so that means it's pretty wide but i'm gonna make this smaller let's say um set it to 900 pixels all right um and the minimum height also i'm just gonna bring it down a little bit so i'm not sure if you guys remember how it looked before because it was pretty big and also it would occupy most of the screen but just bringing these done click on publish so whenever I remove this you'll see how it's smaller so this is how you will set the the width of the internal pages okay of the product pages so you see that I made it like a bit smaller which would look good um, in my opinion for the internal pages so I'm gonna go back again to customize and See guys, this is what you do in site layout. You set the minimum height and also the maximum width and this is what you will get, okay? So if I leave it as before, uh, I think it was 500 seven something and this was 1400 pixels. I'm gonna publish it. And you guys see how, this is how it looked before, okay? So come here to customize and go to shop styles and site layout to set how you want your shop to look. Okay, so I'm just gonna publish this and close the customizer and this is how it looks. Whenever you're done adding details to your product, then you just need to click on publish. So these are the steps that you need to follow. Um, whenever you wanna publish another, another product, then go to products, add new, and do exactly the same thing. You need a title, you need a description, add the price and also a picture. So if you guys have other suggestions, other feature suggestions that you want in Themes Generator, please uh, comment this video. We already made Themes Generator compatible with WooCommerce and we're open to hear you guys again and hear all these suggestions so we can improve Themes Generator. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching.